Hello and welcome. My name is Mike Kelly. I'm the sales manager here at Image Fillers and I'll be demonstrating to you our Image 2000 semi-automatic arbor filler. I wanted to tell you a little bit about our company first. Image Fillers started in 1996 rebuilding arbor fillers. We did that for the first few years and decided that we were going to build our own machine. Our years of experience with rebuilding taught us the things that we really liked and we wanted to implement into the new machine. And we also understood what didn't work or what needed to be done to make the machine work uh, the way it was supposed to be working. So in the early 2000s, we developed our Image 2000 auger filler. From there, we started adding things to our semi-automatic. We made it an automatic machine with a conveyor. We added another head to make it a double head machine. We started uh, offering rotary fillers where bottles would go around a turret and fill it a few hundred a minute. We also started doing more integration. So we started offering screw conveyors that would bring product up into our fillers. We started adding tables to the ends. And we also recently started integrating full lines. So we don't build cappers or labelers or check wearers, but we've integrated them into a full line. So we've had customers ask us, you know, because we've done a good job with their auger filler part, if, if we could integrate more equipment, and we have done that. So we can offer that now to, to anyone who uh, needs that uh, integration. So what is an auger filler? An auger filler is a machine that brings product down vertically with an auger. Here's an auger here. This is a self-feed auger for running a non-free flow product. Non-free flow product is something like uh, a coffee or a, a, a flour or whey protein. And I'll show you a little bit how you can determine if your product is free flow or non-free flow. But with a non-free flow product, we use an auger that has a little bit larger diameter at the top, which we call an overflight. This overflight um, helps compress the product down and push it down which needs to be done with stuff that's harder to move. Each one of these uh, distances here between the flights is called a pitch. And the product, your product, would sit in each one of these little pitches. We make different diameters, different uh, pitches, lengths, so we can become faster or more accurate, however you want to set up your auger filler. But how it works is the auger turns, and every time it turns, it pushes product downward and it measures it with these flights every time it turns. We can be very precise with the auger uh, machine. We can turn it one one hundredth of a turn, or we can turn it many turns if you're filling a, a, a large weight. Most of the time and most of the products we fill don't require anything other than just turning the auger by rotation. Some products are very difficult and don't hold a very tight tolerance, so we do offer scales. This machine right here is not operating on a scale, but. We have done that in the past many times. I'm going to show you a free flow auger now. So this auger here is a free flow. This is for running free flow products like salt or table sugar, real products that are really easy to move. But what happens with a vertical auger filler is if you were to pour salt down this big hopper with the auger here, it would just flow right down and onto the ground. So what we have to do is we have to use a spinner plate system. So there's a plate on the bottom of this auger that holds the product back. Once the auger turns, it spins it out into a collector funnel, which you can see on our website if you get a chance to go there. Um, and, and it spins it out into that collector funnel and down into your bag or your container or whatever you're filling into. So how do you determine whether or not your product is free flow or non-free flow? It's really pretty simple. Most of the products work this way. Not all of them, but most. This product right here is a non-free flow. And what you can do is take your product take a, oh, we have an auger, but you can take a screwdriver or something thin and put it down inside there. And what you can do is just push it down inside, wiggle it around a little bit, and if you pull it out and there's a hole there, which there is, it's a little hard to see here, but if there's a hole, it's, we consider it most of the time non-free flow. And you use the non-free flow auger. If you have a product like salt or sugar, it's pretty easy to determine whether or not it's gonna fill, fill in and not leave a hole, but this product is spices, mixed spices, and you can see it, they're, they're rarely free-flowing, but if you were to do the same test, wiggle it around, it's not going to leave any kind of hole. So that, that you can determine about 90% of the products that way. So right now we have some coffee in this machine, and we have it set at 
Well, right now we have it set at seven revolutions. I'm going to turn it down to about three revolutions. And we're going to turn this on and we're going to run a little bit for you. So we have a foot pedal. I'm going to show you in a second, but I'm hitting a foot pedal right now. And I'm just tapping and it's turning three revolutions. And this is coffee filling. You can kind of see it fill in there. I don't know if you can see it any better this way. And all you would do is, and it's very repeatable, coffee is very easy to run, but if you wanted to run a little bit less, we're going to turn it down to one revolution. And if you can see that, you can also turn it up. We're going to run about seven revolutions. As you can see, it's very easy to change the revolutions. And that's putting in more products. Products like coffee, very, very repeatable. You wouldn't need any kind of scale. The auger is very um, accurate with, with coffee and products like that. Um, we're just going to turn that off real quick. And we're going to just go over the machine a little bit with you now. We're going to start here down at the bottom. Our, our Image 2000 machine has a height adjustable jack. That's standard. So you can raise and lower this machine about seven inches. We also have a frame, a nice wide frame, stainless steel on leveling pads. This is a, this is a standard, and that's, this is one of the things we really liked because these machines are top heavy. So we like the fact that we have this nice frame that comes standard. We also have this double bell. I don't know if it's a little hard to see there, but that double bell is what is lining it up. It's also where you loosen up the set screw to raise and lower the machine. All right, we're gonna work our way up here. And this is the funnel. This is what surrounds the auger. The auger's inside there. One thing I haven't talked about yet, which is really important, is inside this hopper is a blade. It's, a, it's an agitation blade. So when you're running coffee, you want to try to get that coffee to the center, right down at the bottom, the center bottom. And we have a blade that sweeps the inner wall of the hopper, and that is going slowly around the outside. Um, and it's running as the auger turns, most of the time. You can run it all the time, but most of the time it's running with the auger. We call it with fill. And that's the agitation blade. Up top is quick release clamp. So a lot of customers would like to have a way to change out the hopper quickly, the tooling quickly. We have four quick release clamps that turn, that release and the hopper can come down very quickly. The auger inside here that I showed you already is spring loaded. So it's pretty easy to clean out the machine. And that's one thing customers really like. The other thing is the fact that we do a lot of stainless. Everything that touches your product is stainless. Even some of the stuff that doesn't touch your product, like the, uh, the head up there is a, where the motors sit. There's a stainless cover, a stainless guard, and, and up top there, we have a head casting that is actually anodized aluminum. So it's non-corrosive. Hopefully you can see that, okay? Um, so I'm gonna show you the controls real quick if I can can not sure if I can or not there we go I think you can see them I'm not sure if you can or not I'm having a little trouble with the the iPad here but it's pretty simple controls it's a Mitsubishi controllers our standard we do all for Allen Bradley controls as well um, one the other thing I wanted to mention here too is we do have a vent sock up top that vent sock, when you're pouring powders in a lot, they, there's, the air has to escape somehow. So we put a nice vent sock up there for the air to escape, but the powder to stay in, in the machine. So I think that is all for this machine today. Um, if you have any questions at all, please give us a call or go to our website. Our website, which has our, the product listings, it has some videos. Um, and it has some more information is www.imagefillers.com. That's www.imagefillers.com. Our phone number is 610-466-1440. Please give us a call. You can give me a call or anyone here a call. We're, we're more than happy to help you and we hope we can do business with you in the future. Thank you.